How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Now before we even start today's video, I do want to apologize real quick. As you guys could probably tell immediately, uh, it's a little bit dark out. I am filming this in the winter. It's a little bit later in the day. So I really do hope that this footage does come out at least somewhat decent for you. Uh, but today, which you guys probably saw in the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be in this 2011 Volkswagen Tiguan. Now, I'm actually on the way to film the review. Typically, when I do any videos on cars, like I'll do the review first and then the POV driving uh, footage, like if you've been subscribed to my channel at all uh, for some time. Uh, but today, again, I'm trying to save time. So anyways, getting into it today, uh, right off the bat, the main reason why I do uh, two separate videos and not kind of combine them into one giant review is that when it comes to the review, I really like to talk about the specs. I like to go over the weight, the curb weight, uh, the horsepower, torque, all that stuff, and kind of dive into some deeper details with the car. Whereas with the POV driving videos, I like to just focus mainly on the interior. Wow, I almost hit that scroll there. I'm glad that I had the GoPro rolling for that because I didn't just slam on the brakes there for no reason. Um, but yeah, I like to find kind of like focus on the interior and also I kind of like to just shut up a bit and have you guys just See what it is to drive it a little bit because again I do feel like some of you guys out there on YouTube might be uh, you know interested in buying this car or like looking at some of these uh, older uh, Used Tiguan's now right off the bat. You probably already know this But this is a first-gen Tiguan and this is actually right. This is like the year. This is 2011 so it's right before they did the facelift in the first gen. So it kind of affects the styling. I feel like the styling for this specific generation uh, de definitely is a tad bit dated here in uh, 2023 now. Uh, so that is kind of like a negative. Now, when it comes to the actual car and it's driving, kind of capabilities or whatever this one just has over a little over 108,000 miles on the odometer and i have to say the steering's pretty tight uh it actually is a, a family member's car of mine so we just actually got it back from the shop uh there was an issue with i think the water pump and the heater core um but that is kind of all fixed it was no like super super big deal uh but uh, we're glad that we kind of brought it in because the water pump was leaking which obviously most of you know uh will lead to a lot worse issues uh down the line but yeah overall i do like the design of the interior as well has a decent amount of options uh right here is actually a button for voice recognition i or voice controls or whatever I uh, pressed it before. I didn't know how to turn it off, but eventually it kind of goes off by itself. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, it also has like, I guess, uh, touchless or like hands-free uh, phone controls as well. Uh, Bluetooth, all that stuff. So for 2011, I feel like this definitely had a decent amount of options and kind of creature comforts. Now, if you've, again, if you've been subscribed to my channel for any sort of time now, I think that's, like for me, I'm not really too big on all those extra stuff, but when, when it comes to like the regular car market out there and the general population uh, looking at SUVs like this, I feel like that's a big deal. So again, if you're looking at one of these and you're interested to see like what type of options it has, I would definitely do a little bit more research because I'm not gonna go through all of the options uh, in this video or even in the review. Um, but yeah, it definitely has a decent amount for a 2011 uh, model car. And one thing that I noticed pretty much immediately as soon as I started driving it, and I don't know if the owner actually put these in or not, or if they just came on the car stock, I honestly do not remember. Uh, but something that I feel like gets overlooked a lot when it comes to uh, many different types of vehicles, especially your like kind of daily commuter SUVs, I like the little like kind of uh, mini mirrors or whatever you want to call them like blind spot mirrors uh, right on both of the side mirrors there I have that on my car now I got mine off like from like AutoZone and they're like cheap little stick on ones but they work great too and yeah it definitely does help I mean again a lot of times like a, a lot of things that people don't understand when I film videos like this or even other car reviewers out there uh, you can't really get like a true true feel of the car if you're only driving it for like a couple hours which nine times out of ten that is my scenario so that's something that i will fess up and i think i've said this in other videos as well uh, but i really like those simply because with those your blind spot is i don't want to say 100 percent eliminated but 
a lot of it is eliminated. And if you're just jumping into the car and you're brand new to it, it definitely does help you out a ton. And also one thing that I did notice uh, before I kind of took it uh, like a quick spin through a park uh, before filming the video, and I do have to say that although the suspension is tight and everything is good and everything, uh, it definitely has a decent amount of body roll, especially for a lighter SUV, a smaller SUV. I mean, the thing only weighs around 3,500 pounds and it doesn't make a lot of horsepower. Like it's it's a kind of like more of a crossover compared to like a huge full-size SUV. Now, I don't know for certain if technically the Tiguan's are considered to be crossover, so don't, you know, completely go crazy in the comment section, but it's definitely a smaller SUV and uh, taking some corners, like I, I feel like a lot of body roll, uh, just comparable to other vehicles of this kind of like size category. So take that as you will. It's not necessarily a make or break. I don't think it should be a make or break for anyone out there looking for a first gen Tiguan. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of my thoughts and perspectives on it. Uh, I do again. I do. I really like the interior. I like the options. I think that it does everything pretty good when it comes to reliability. I know that some Volkswagen models can kind of be hit or miss. However, considering that this is uh, you know 108,000 miles on it, obviously I know the owner of the vehicle. They're in my family, and I do actually know the previous owner of the vehicle, the person that sold it to them, and they had it the entire car's life, and for the most part besides the little fuel pump or excuse me not the fuel pump the water pump issue that we just had as well as the heater core issue that has now been resolved there's really no major major issues with it i know a lot of times with these tiguans once they get once they start getting higher mileage there could be uh, some problems with the turbos i heard uh, throughout like some of the forums when researching this car but besides that uh, you know knock on wood right now uh, the owner of this hasn't really experienced anything too crazy. It still breaks really awesome. As long as you basically just maintain it, 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 you know, it should be fine. It's one of those cars that should run for a pretty long time. Now, yes, it's no, uh, you know, Accord or Civic or Corolla or anything like that. But at the end of the day, it, it definitely should uh, run for at least a decent amount more over the 108,000 that's already on it right now. So anyways, that's pretty much just gonna wrap up today's video. Again, I'm really, I, like I'm trying to get this review in during sundown. I'm sorry if uh, this video is a little bit sh on the shorter side, but the review should be up uh, before this video. So if you haven't already, definitely be sure to check that out if you want some more of the specs and actual like details of this Tiguan. But like always, I really do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of today's video. If you haven't already, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, click that bell icon down below. All that stuff really does help me out a ton as a smaller car channel here on YouTube. But I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed today's video, click on either of these links right here to watch a similar video from this channel or click on the little circle link uh, right there to actually subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. I do appreciate all the support, but thank you for sticking to the end of this video and I hope you have a fantastic day.